Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. I want to stay. I think I'm posting this then. For today's video, as you guys are from the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of November. So this is a new subscription service that BoxyCharm is providing. It does retail for $35 every single month. So basically you can get the regular BoxyCharm, which is 25, or you can get this one, which is 35. And then don't forget about Boxy Lux, which does arrive to your house every three months if you're subscribed to that too for 50 bucks every three months, you know what I mean? I, I know your subscription boxes are probably filled with a ton of boxy charm unboxings. Um, and I feel you on that. So I was kind of contemplating on if I wanted to make this video or not because I didn't want to like bombard you with like just unboxings and unboxings and unboxings. But I personally am really, really excited for this new subscription service that BoxyCharm has to provide. I purchased this on my own. BoxyCharm has no idea who I am, which is totally fine. Um, I just want to see what they have to offer. And I also want you guys to maybe see if it's something you're interested in, if it maybe would suit your needs and all of that. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I did my BoxyCharm versus Ipsy unboxing two, three days ago. I'll have that link down below. And I also unboxed my Ipsy Ultimate um, a few days ago as well. So I'll leave that link down below too. Let me know what you guys think about um, the products in there if you didn't comment already. So I didn't pick... You guys know the drill. Open up, open this up just like that. This has been sitting in my hallway for like four days staring at me and I'm like, stop it. And I finally have a chance now to film it. So I'm like, yes, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. All right, so it comes with the pamphlet. Some bubble wrap. And the value of this is supposed to be like, honestly, I don't know exactly, but pretty up there. Pretty much, pretty up, pretty high. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Okay, so the first part that's included in here is the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. It says refresh and balance. I do believe that everything in here is full size, which is amazing. That's something to keep in mind. So it says it's sulfate free, silicone free, paraben free, and something else free. Um, I, this is vegan as well. I, I haven't tried much from the Kopari brand. I have their like lip scrubby. That's what it's called, yeah. And I really do like it. What else? Um, I think I've tried maybe one other thing from them, but this looks amazing. This part right here has like a rubberized feel, and then this right here is like plasticky. I love the detail of the packaging. Let me smell it. I like the fact that it's a rose toner in a spray form, because a lot of times you won't find that. You'll just find toners in a regular form, and you'll have to put on like on a pad and then like, you know, massage your face with it. I'll probably end up doing that with this too, but I like the fact that I could probably just spray it on my face and kind of call it a day. So, really cool. I love the packaging. It just, yum. The next thing that's included in here, wait, let's just go on, let's go to the card and see like what, you know, what we're working with. So basically the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner retails for $25, original volume. Okay, the next thing that's included, sorry. Okay, the next thing that's included is the Dragon Beauty Skin Perfecting Potion. I actually have never tried anything from uh, Nikita's line. I'm not crazy interested in the products that she released thus far. Um, but this looks like it's a, what, one second, one second. It basically helps to conceal and correct the appearance of dark circles. So personally for me, I don't color correct necessarily. Thank God I don't feel like I need it at this point in my life. So I'm not going to open this up just to open it up because um, maybe I'll just include it in a future giveaway or something. It, it is pretty orange, I should say. Even if I would um, color correct, I think it might be a bit too dark for me. I think this might be best suited for deeper skin tones. Then... Dun, 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 dun. You know what? I'm going to do a giveaway in this video. I love you guys so much, by the way. I wanted to say how much I appreciate all of you. All the comments, love, every single thing. I usually read through all the comments, and I just, I love you guys. It's just like bomb. Like, I feel honored. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, and the next product that's included is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette, which looks just like this. The reason why I decided to make a giveaway, like, right here, right now is because I already own this. And since I mentioned I'm not going to use this, I'll give this away too. So this will be in the giveaway as well as this. Let me just show you guys. You know what? No. Let me just get mine. One second. Blah. Okay. So here's the winners, right? Let me just show you guys. It's in here, right? Just showing proof. And here's mine. I actually really love this. I think I had it for possibly a year now. Here is what it looks like. Super beautiful. I did purchase it with the full price tag. The full price tag of this is 55. Whoa, I spent 15. What were you thinking? I'm kidding. It's actually a really nice palette. I love this reddish shade. There's like a little window here that kind of covers the cream products. And then you have two powders here as well. So we have two 
two blushes, two highlighters. You can use it as a blush topper depending on your skin tone. But then this right here, I would say, is a pretty universally flattering highlighter if you kind of work into the skin. But let me show you guys what this palette has to offer. So I love the cream blushes. They're really nice. They blend out beautifully, especially this reddish one. It's so perfect for the summertime. Um, okay, so here's what we're working with. The two middle ones are the creams. Top and bottom are the two uh, powders. It's a really nice palette. Pigmented, blends out beautifully, and it just looks very fresh on the skin. I really love this a ton. I love Natasha Denona in general. I might be a bit biased. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I, I loved this before I even met her. So anyways, really happy that it's included in here. I'm so happy to have the opportunity to give it away to one of you guys. I love doing that. It's so much fun. Okay, and then the next thing that's included is the QMS Intensive Eye Cream. So it says Day and Night Eye Cream. The original value of this is... What? $150? A nurturing formula developed to rejuvenate, hydrate, and care for the sensitive skin around the eyes. That's crazy. I didn't expect it. I, I, I don't even, I've never even heard of this brand. I'm currently using the Lancome eye cream, which I've been using for quite some time now. It's the kind of cream that you like have to pump out. And it's like a never ending dream in a way where it just keeps going and going, which I'm like, hey, great, because I don't have to use any other eye creams. But now I'm kind of intrigued with this one. It seems pretty thick in consistency. The major thing I suffer with around my eyes is mainly crow's feet and a little bit of dryness. I don't have necessarily much darkness um, under my eyes. But you know what? Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my under eye, like the skin under my eyes looks very, very thin. If you guys know how to like fix that, then let me know. Maybe it's because I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm not sure, but it looks like someone punched me sometimes. Anyways, it's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> oh, it's the garbage truck. Forget it. So this feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel like anything that's oh my god. But I mean, if, if it's 150 bucks retail value, then I'm sure it'll do wonders for my skin. Okay, next product that's included in here is the Becca Glow Gloss. And this right here is in Champagne Cream. I know that this is popping up at TJ Maxx's. I personally have not had any luck with finding it. Um, so I'm really happy to have it in here. The original value of this is 22 bucks. And I have to say, I really do like the Glow Glosses by Becca. I purchased a few from TJ Maxx. I, I purchased some kits that had some of these glow glosses and they're really nice they have a little bit of a thicker 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 feel to them they do make your lips look really nice and luscious they're not necessarily sticky and they're just really nice on lips i actually really enjoy them yum wow i forgot how amazing this feels and it actually has a little bit of a mintyish scent 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 what the six scents like i feel like this would be really beautiful on top of a nude lipstick like with the one I'm wearing today or it would be really nice to wear on top of anything it has little specks of glitter, gold glitter in there I just think it's stunning and then finally the last thing that's included is this BoxyCharm brush kit so we basically get five different brushes the original value of this is 65 bucks do we believe that or do we not? introducing your new favorite brush set this BoxyCharm branded five piece brush set was created to help you achieve a flawless look really cool Alright, let's, let's see what we're working with. I'm kind of picky with brushes, so we'll have to see. Uh, so you pretty much just... These are very interestingly shaped brushes. I do like the fact that they're black. The um, brush heads are black as well. It kind of reminds me of like the Artiste brushes. Like I'm getting the same vibe. I feel like this these might be nice to blend out like the under eye concealer with. Maybe this one would be nice for foundation. I don't know if I would use the eye brushes for the eye area. Maybe I'll just use it for like cream contouring or something. But very interesting. We've never seen brushes like this, I don't think. So I'm pretty happy to add it to my collection. And I like the handles because there's like a little like indent here where you can kind of like put your finger and then blend away. Not bad. I'll put these to the test. We shall see. And they feel really nice, actually. I don't know if it's 65 bucks possible. I like this bag though. <laughs> this bag made, made it for me. So that's pretty much it. That was everything that was included in my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of November. And like I mentioned to you guys, uh, this is a monthly subscription service. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what next month has to offer. I'm pretty happy with this month. I think for 35 bucks, we got a really nicely curated kit box. We got a little, mainly makeup, which I love, and some skincare. So the best of both worlds. And my question to you guys is, first of all, would you sign up for the BoxyCharm Premium? Or are you happy with the regular BoxyCharm if you get the regular BoxyCharm? And then secondly, how would you guys like me to unbox these, like the premium box? I don't want to like bombard you guys with like this unboxing, that unboxing. Unless you want that from me, then let me know. But I'm thinking like, I was thinking of doing the Ipsy Ultimate and the BoxyCharm Premium together in one. But then I'm like, it just doesn't make any sense because the Ultimate is 50 and this is 35 so it's kind of like how is that a tie it's not so 
So let me know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. If you guys want to know how to enter the giveaway, I have another giveaway going on on my channel. I'll leave that video linked down below too. But if you want to know how to enter this giveaway, then just check, check the description box. The winner will be getting the Natasha Denona Boom palette, highlighter and blush palette. And then the Nikita Dragon, Dragon Beauty um, Skin Perfecting Potion. All right. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we shall talk. Bye. <laughs>